Rated M for mature. What can I do for you? Ah, hello there. Very well then. The warm sand of elsewhere. <laughs> I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old Always man know when you're ready. Ah, hello there. Very, very quiet. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone would please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me, an image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriol's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is in the elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. Me more than a little nervous. It darkens. The warm sand and I see no more. Far away from to know here. the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I just have to learn magic from these men and the air. Has but they we are not learned to be as dead. Come on, old man. Just you should get some rest. rest. Talk. Let us hope that if there are dragons, there are only a few, and they are the not the power. That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start with. Just invisible. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father. Now that's saying something. Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. So many Maybe. Beards. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? They'd be even less welcoming to her than they've been to me. It would have been a bloodbath. And since the Dawn Guard are still around, that must not have happened. Any other ideas? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Dragons were never gone. They were just invisible. Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. 
true, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. The wise trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. But we can avoid them if we do not stay in one place with the disease when you are out.
What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This was my mother's garden. Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Very clever, mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what found. Jezargo sees what you are up to. <laughs>
the Harakon, sir. But we can avoid it if we do not stay in one place for too long. We are far from home, and this... Something happens to Khajiit when they arrive I at hope Skyrim. we find a warmer welcome to travelers than we have found in ours. for too long. Nords are so serious about it. Jezargo sees what you are up to. Very well. Jezargo sees what you are up to. Very well. Look at 
this place. This has to be it. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. You must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously... something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. Any luck yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cave. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. I admit, the dragons are mm. concerned. Not bad. We We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. This Kajit guards the others. It is good to finally be around mages who may be able to keep up with these arts are so serious about beards. So many beards. I hope you will find a warmer welcome in your travels than we have found the ours. Trader finds the best opportunities, even if he must travel far to find them. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Okay, here goes. They don't seem to hunt along the roads. It is no coincidence. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I guess? The dragons are concerned, but we can avoid Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. A word of advice, my friend. I hope you not really gambling. 
Taken together, I will empty your pockets of every septic. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, Something but you'll find yourself weakened in the soul the cave. In Skyrim. Skyrim I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time now. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. You must help me find my Arvac. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. Farewell. of advice, my friend. Do not mix Mother. gambling and drink. Mother! Taken together, they will empty your pockets of every set. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Kajit got your back. What are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. You are taking us somewhere. I must have Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him, to make surface. everything right. Wait a minute. You brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you traveled with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Coming from one who murders vampires is a trade. I find it hard to believe your intentions are noble. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volkhar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Arion and his arcane weapon, Arion's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like my 
himself. Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Heart. It was expected of her, just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Surada, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood is used to taint the world, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Gate, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Serana? aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? All this talk of dragons. If you'd only open your eyes the moment your father discovers your role in the office, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. I admit, the you never asked are me concerned. if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, you were still just a pawn to me. I want us to be a family again. Khajiit guards your back. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. Khajiit guards your back. We have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saran. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. So many. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me, but for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Durnavil roaming the cairn. Be wary. The Ideal Masters have charged him with overseeing the Keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. Elsewhere is an empty land of desert and keep my dogs. rocky canyons, where the sun shines warmly.
Beards are so serious about beards. So many beards. I would rather be back home than elsewhere, but I...
managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Volumes written on Dernevere allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears they were mistaken. Unless... The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernevere's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes? Hours? Years. I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the old school and you can be on your way. We are far from here, and this is a cold. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be away. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. So my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, which... Don't worry. I think I can help you. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Sarama entered the soul gate, it was given to the ideal masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. There's an awful altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. After what I've put Serana through, I would understand if she never wished to see me again. I leave that decision in your hands. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. The sooner we get this girl home, the sooner we deal with my father. I admit that I Did you have any predictions before you depart? I would speak with you, Quenarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. The Hus 
hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal master. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Care, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor and I will fight at your side as your Grazi Mazen, your ally, and teach you my food. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. I was, but unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I discovered too late that the ideal masters favor deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there through your call. In my language, the Quanaran is the vanquisher, the one who has bested a fellow Dova in battle. Even in the Soul Cairn, the defeat of the World Eater has reached my ears, 
Dova King. You may not be Dova, but the defeat of Alduin earns you the right of title. Lucky for us, they don't seem to hunt along the rock of dragon. This carriage guards the animals. They're nervous. Elsewhere is an arid land of deserts and rocky canyons where the sun
Let's get indoors. What now? I can't say it surprises me. I kind of figured we were heading for this someday. I just didn't know when. This is not Gisargo's fault. We are far if. from home. And I've been assuming that's where all this is going. Heartland. I've been trying to make my peace with it. Come on, we can talk about this another time. Let's move faster. The sun is... It's not great for my skin. It's so bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. A word of advice, my friend. Do not mix gambling and drink. Taken together, they will empty your pockets of every sefkin. Something strange happens to Khajiit when they arrive in Skyrim. Fearsome. Lucky for us, they don't seem to hunt along the roads. You're home! Can I get a few gold to spend? Please? What? Seriously? No way! With this, I, can learn I could buy everything in the market! Earth. But wow! Cannot learn Thanks. To be as dashing as he. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. May your road lead you to warm sands. Ma took me to the market. Hey, Pa. Sure. What do you want to play? Okay, you're it. Dragons Hello, my love. Go. Back from some, some adventure, I bet. Work. Very, very quiet. Here, this is fresh. I'll have another meal ready tomorrow. Fine, love. I think the fresh air does wonders for all of us. And this house, it's just perfect. Goodbye, mother. You are taking a... You can't catch me! have no love for us. They look upon us and see only thieves and smugglers. 
Did you really build this house all by yourself? Wow. I would rather be back home in elsewhere, but I have bigger choice. Mama took me to the market. There were lots of pies and cakes there. She said she'd show me how to bake one. Need something? Kajit guards your back. <laughs> 